The two movies that I decided to do for my vlog project were West Side Story and The Sting. The context of West Side Story is that it's a movie that highlights the suspicious and racial tensions occurring between different ethnic groups in the 1940s and 50s. In a matter time, many Hispanic immigrants were coming to the country, both legally and illegally. The largest group during this time, however, were the Puerto Ricans, who were actually technically American citizens. Most immigrants moved to New York City, which still contains the largest Puerto Rican community in the world. Many immigrants who moved to the United States came with dreams of new life, filled with opportunity and riches. However, their dreams were often smashed as they met a hostile environment of prejudice and hard times, finding poverty here and as well in the scene of the movie, the Puerto Rican sing a song called America. In this song, the women talk about the bright side of things by coming to America, the freeness, having your own possessions, etc. While the men talk about the cons of coming to America, the poor jobs, double the amount they would have to pay compared to the white male. Things that addressed the culture in the 1960s were, well, since the movie took place in the 40s and 50s, it did not pertain to the 60s in that great art. However, the racial discrimination and the struggles that came with it did occur. My personal review of the movie is a 7 out of 10, and the reason behind that is because I didn't particularly like the flow of the movie. I thought that it was choppy at times, and I thought that it could have just gone a little bit more smoother. Um, IMDb's review was a 7.6 out of 10, and Rotten Tomatoes' review was a 94% out of the possible 100%. percent member that I decided to interview was Mr. Jeffries, who's my advisor and the librarian. And he said, and I quote, West Side Story did not have any influence on my life because it was not the same culture as mine. Where I was, I never encountered a gang. The context of the plot of the movie had nothing to do with that. The second movie I decided to do uh, was made in 1973, and it starred Paul Newman and Robert Redford, and it was called The Sting. Uh, the context of it is that the movie does not really highlight the 70s since it does take place in the 30s, but it captures both the ragtime and gangster pictures of the 30s, a synthetic period compounded of Scott Joplin's rags, who is the pianist who has most of the piano music in the film. The movie is full of crooks, but they are the sweet and soft kind, not compared to the menacing kind. Throughout the movie, we see con after con after con. Plot twists and hidden messages are placed well throughout the movie. How it does not address the culture in the 1970s is because it takes place in the 1930s. So the connections that I saw did not have any relevance to the 70s. Although maybe the violence that took place, maybe the little bit of violence took place, that could be connected to there. And there, throughout the movie, um, there's racially charged comments. So, I'm sure that took place in the 70s. My review of this thing is a 9.5 out of 10. And the reason of that being is because it, it is a classic movie and it really captures what a good con is. It really, it's just a good movie. Um, I would recommend it to anybody. Um, IMDb's review is an 8.3 out of 10, and Rotten Tomatoes' review is a 93%. Uh, once again, I asked Mr. Jeffries for his thoughts on this thing, and he said it was a, a caper movie. It was a scam or a swindle, although it was reminiscent of the 70s. The music was excellent, a big part of the movie not really the time. What I learned um, about the two movies is that there were still racially racial tensions in both movies, even though one of them just doesn't take place about racial injustices. Um, both movies showed that you can overcome through everything, uh, more so in the West Side Story, not the Sting. I mean, the Sting, the whole reason why Hooker pulls off the big count is because his buddy got killed. So I guess in that sense, it's for passion and for your family and friends. But both movies were pretty good. Um, 
Yeah, pretty good.